Hey, hey, what's up, good people? How you doing? David Taub here, co-creator of NextLevelGuitar.com. And today I have a very easy way for you to start moving chord shapes up and down the neck and coming up with all kinds of cool sounds and interesting chordal movements. And we're going to base it all off one chord shape. So we're not going to be changing the voicing or the fingering at all. We're just going to be moving it around on the neck. It's so easy. You could do it so fast and... Hopefully this will, you know, get the creative juices flowing. I mean, check it out some of the sounds you can create just by moving this one voicing around on the neck, but not even changing the fingering. Stuff, I'm just going to make this up off the top of my head. cool and before I forget if you would like five free video lessons that aren't available here on YouTube we'll send them to you for free just click on the link in blue in the text box below this video we will send you five free video lessons and a free guitar ebook with all kinds of chord charts and fretboard diagrams and chord changing exercises and techniques great stuff free five video lessons and free ebook just click on that link this is such an easy way to start creating some music and some cool sounds. I'm going to show you a strum pattern you could use too. Um, if you're new to this, that's going to get you playing music fast. And lots of guitar players use this t technique, you know, where they'll find, you know, like a, just a cool sounding chordal voicing. Whatever, and just kind of move it around. And kind of move it around on the neck, you know. Uh, I hear that a lot in the playing of uh, Jimmy Page, you know, listen to some Led Zeppelin songs, especially his acoustic stuff. Or I hear it a lot too, uh, Alex Lifeson from the band Rush. He'll do this a lot. Um, so it's a very common thing and it's so easy and fun and it's really going to get your creative juices flowing. And I'm playing acoustic today, but you could do this on electric. And it's all based off of this E major chord. Okay, so we're going to base this movable chord based off of this E major chord. That you probably know, but instead of playing it with your first, second, and third fingers, let's change and move that first finger out of there and play it with your second, third, and fourth finger. Okay, so your first finger is just kind of hanging out. And then what I'm going to be doing is, what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be moving that. See, the shape or the cluster stays exactly the same. Always open low E and open high E, open B string. the neck right now all these chords do have names but I don't want to bog you down with a lot of theory so I'll call out the fret so like for something like this I'll call out second fret so both these fingers here are kind of at that second fret and then third fret if you want to know the names that's your E major right at the third fret here that's kind of like an F major 7 like if you were to play your first finger here F major 7 sharp 11 but since we're going to do the open E string F major 7 sharp 11 over E all these chords are going to be over E because we're going to have that low E string you know. right 4th fret that's kind of like an F sharp 7th with an added chord here at the 5th fret it's kind of like an E minor 7 5th fret's right here kind of like an E minor 7th now, right, but we're playing it here. Um, some of them are not going to like that sixth fret. I really don't like the sound of that too much, but the seventh fret I like a lot, right? If you take that off, play over B, that's kind of like an A added uh, A add two because we got that open B string over E. Not too crazy about that one at the eighth fret, but at the ninth fret. Again, I haven't changed this at all, this voicing. So the ninth fret there, that's kind of like a B added, since we're adding that E. Kind of like a B add 4 over E. Tenth fret. That's a nice one. Kind of like a C major 7th chord. Right, but at that tenth fret. And I also 
like the sounds at the 12th fret, and then at that 14th fret. Now the 14th fret is the octave. That's the same thing as down here at the second fret. E major, right? If we slide all the way up an octave, 12 frets, at the 14th fret. So now we're on a little wider shot. Look, listen to those sounds as we move this around. Remember, you're not using that first finger, and we're just sliding this cluster. And all with the over E, all with that low E string. We're going to be putting them in combinations. cool strum pattern, something nice and slow and easy. So when you're moving these around, you can start making it sound like music. Let's just do something like this. I'll just hold the strings just to explain it to you. It's real rhythmic. It's just down, down. That's the first part. Then down, down, up, up, down. That's the second part. Down, down, up, up, down. So together you have down, 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 up, up, down. And then the last part, up, down, up. So you put all three together, you get down, down, first part, down, down, up, up, down, second part. Here's the third part, up, down, up. Now if we string them together, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, up. Now if I play that, like that B add four over E here at the, you know, we're calling that uh, ninth fret there. And I do that strum pattern. Right? Down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, up. Real easy. So at first, if you're new to this, just go from like that chord and then just go down a whole step or two frets to the A at 2 over E. Kind of going on that ninth fret to that seventh fret if you want to look at it like that. So we'll change from that ninth fret to that seventh fret. And you get something that sounds like this using that strum. Right? And, and your hand doesn't even have to come off the strings. You're just going to be sliding it around. Right? So let's add a few chords to that. So let's do that. We'll go from the ninth to the seventh. And then let's go up to the 14th fret, up to that B major to the 12th. So practice that one. You know, back and forth. And then we'll go all the way down to the third fret to the second which is the E major with that strum pattern sound like this two three four kicking off in your head and when I went to the E major you know I just kind of arpeggiated or you know you could kind of change the length as 
far as, you know, strum back more toward the bridge for that more trebly sound where the strings are tighter and arpeggiated. Just to create some different sounds and some interest, but it's, it's just coming up with that good rhythm and then moving the chord around. Now when you get better at it, try moving them around maybe faster in a different order. Maybe I'll get something like this. I don't know, I'll just make something up. that little lesson there on this movable chord shape based off of an E major chord. Remember to click on the link below in the in the text box below this video for five free videos not on YouTube to help you along in your guitar journey and a free guitar PDF um, booklet all from Next Level Guitar. I'm David Taub, co-founder of NextLevelGuitar.com. You're the good people. Check out our website, over 850 videos and growing for beginners, intermediates, advanced. Um, also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You know, Click on that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next lesson. Keep on rocking.